These mistakes prevent beginner and intermediate graphic designers from ever becoming advanced. Let's find solutions to these problems in today's video. So these mistakes are in no particular order, but we're starting with failing to adapt. Now follow along because this is actually very, very important to graphic design, and it reaches into multiple aspects of the design industry. Firstly, the obvious point is technology. Technology is changing and evolving at a rapid rate, and considering graphic design makes use of this tech, it's obvious that we need to learn to change with it as well. That's the most obvious form of adaption, but things do go deeper for us graphic designers. We also need to learn to adapt to society's wants, needs, and triggers. We are making visual communication for society, and if we fail to adapt with how things are changing, then our design will become lost. Lastly, on the topic of adaption, you need to adapt to changing situations in the workplace. It isn't uncommon for projects to take unexpected turns, deadlines to be changed, or other unforeseeable events occur. Instead of getting angry and stewing over these issues, an advanced designer will understand the situation and quickly pivot to the most optimum approach. So moving on from adaption, the next mistake that you really don't want to make is forgetting who you're designing for. A lot of beginner and intermediate designers will actually make this mistake. The most novice of all designers will make something they think is cool or trendy. A level up from that is the designer who thinks they're designing for their client. A level up from there is the designer who reads and modifies a brief. And then finally, the top level, they understand they're designing for their client's target audience. But do your research and find out who you're designing for and what makes them tick. And here's a quick bonus tip. Often, we start working on a project and we end up with a design. Great, but what if that design was literally just a warm-up? What if we tried it for a second time and that second design ends up being twice as effective? This is actually often the case. Don't always settle for the first design you make because it might actually be that you haven't warmed up or got into your creative stride that day. The next mistake is a relatively new issue, and that is to instantly think of desktop dimensions and scales when making a design. These days, most people engage with graphic design on mobile devices. This is where most of the digital graphics that we make are interacted with. At this stage in the game, we should be making designs that are user-friendly on smaller screens, or designs that can be interacted with on both small and large screens. When making logo designs, it's wise to make multiple versions for this purpose alone. So as an advanced graphic designer, you should research where the design is going to be used mainly, and then create designs accordingly. Don't just assume desktop dimensions are the way to go. Another mistake that is relatively new is the overuse of flat illustrations. Now you've probably seen them everywhere already. They are those generic flat style kind of illustrations used for websites, posters, adverts, and so on. The problem is that these illustrations now lack any sense of character or individuality. I've lost count of the amount of times I've seen businesses use them for their websites. It's a classic case of a trend that's been overused to absolute death. Instead of opting for generic illustrations, think outside of the box and really think about what the audience wants and what is likely going to spike their curiosity. But please, for the love of God, leave the flat illustrations alone. The next mistake that a lot of beginner and intermediate designers make is forgetting the power of simplicity. Graphic design is visual communication. We all agree on that. So let's take a look at some written communication for a moment. Now, if I want to meet somebody somewhere at 9 p.m., I can say something like, hey, I'll meet you at Foxtel Road at 9 p.m. See you soon. Or I could say something like this instead. Now, which of these two instances allows the other person to gather the information most easily and quickly? Of course, it's the first one. Graphic design is all about delivering a message easily so that message can be remembered and obtained by the consumer of that content. Focus on making the design as simple as possible while still being appealing, effective, and of course, engaging. Now, color is something that so many designers get wrong. Some quick tips to get color right. The first one is to have an idea of the message or the emotion that you want to convey with your design, and then to use color or colors from color psychology theory to express that. Also, try sticking to a smaller color palette as well. Don't use too many colors that clash with each other. Also, try thinking of just one or two main colors 
and then an accent color to use as a kind of smaller detail on your design that makes things stand out. An example would be charcoal black and light grey as the main two colours, and then an orangey yellow as an accent colour. And finally, one of the biggest mistakes that I still make today when I'm rushing, and that is not proofing your work. You need to look over your designs not once, not twice, but thrice. Check for typos, check your alignment, make sure you haven't missed anything out. Also look at your design from afar, on different screens, and do test prints. You don't want to send designs to clients with strikingly obvious errors. Now along with not actually using graphic design principles properly such as hierarchy and so on, these are some of the biggest killers to a career when it comes to graphic design. These don't take into account the business side of things like being punctual, polite and all that jazz. But yeah, if you want to learn more about graphic design, just click a video on screen and until next time guys, design your future today. Peace.